for caretaker, um, we were doing manual uh, vitals, uh, meaning the, uh, nurses would, would uh, periodically go into the patient's room and, uh, and uh, you know, take blood pressure and uh, so forth. And, and that was uh, uh, unfortunately problematic uh, for our treatments, in, uh, which, which, which for which, you know, uh, not disturbing a patient is, is really uh, very, very, uh, valuable and a primary uh, uh, point of, of what we try to uh, setting we try to create. So um, it, it was a, highly suboptimal. Um, and in fact, it was becoming quite an issue with each of our patients. Um, it was uh, it was pretty typical for us to have to uh, go through negotiations with them. They would try. They they would be asking for no blood pressures. Uh, or when, when that was off the table, you know, can we can we reduce the the, the, the frequency of the uh, blood pressures because uh, uh, because they clearly were experiencing it as a uh, as a as a um, detriment to their experience. And in in this type of treatment, the the experience of the patient plays a role in the outcome. So we were faced with a dilemma. On the one hand, we wanted to keep uh, people, uh, patients safe and uh, and be able to monitor their, their uh, vitals and blood pressure. On the other hand, we also knew that that came at a cost uh, in terms of the, of the patient experience and therefore the ultimate therapeutic effects. And so um, having kind of facing this every every time, every with every patient, you know, uh, this pushback about getting those uh, those uh, blood pressure and vitals, I started to look for alternatives. Is there something out there where we could get this information, but not have to, you know, uh, uh, intrude and uh, open the door and and and, and pump up a, a, a cuff and and so forth? And um, I came across uh, a caretaker, and uh, and uh, I, I thought this could be uh, just, you know, just what we we're looking for. I think that uh, with with time, uh, we have we've become more and more uh, confident uh, in the caretaker and its accuracy, in its uh, in its reliability, and uh, I think that's reflected in the fact that we started off sort of tentatively uh, with 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 one device to to, to you know test it out. Uh, we're ready to jump in um, uh, with both feet yet and then uh, when we saw what a remarkable asset it was and how reliable it was but also solving that problem uh, of, of intrusion we uh, we purchased um, uh, 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 more and more of them to because we do simultaneous uh, treatments in our in our clinic and uh, so now that now we have uh, we have the units to cover all our patients and in fact recently, we have um, uh, purchased Caretaker to um, address the needs of our uh, research patients who have the same kind of requirements uh, of minimizing intrusiveness in their treatment. So it's definitely become an integral part of our paradigm for, for, for uh, the clinics. So um, there is uh, there is a setup process um, uh, that's required uh, you know, initially um, in terms of um, uh, uh, in terms of fitting the um, the caretaker and doing the calibration, uh, and our nurses usually do that um, uh, very uh, seamlessly as as part of the um, you know uh, greeting you know they room the patient uh, and and then they're getting an update on the uh, from the patient on how they've been. Uh, uh, while they're uh, setting up the caretaker. So it's really not adding uh, to any visit time because um, that time would have been spent with the patient uh, sort of getting uh, getting the uh, uh, clinical information update and the uh, nurses are able to, to easily um, set, set it up um, while they're talking to the patient. And uh, then uh, um, and we, then comes the um, uh, great time and efficiency saving because um, we are, you know, nurses are not needing to 
to keep tabs of uh, of time so to enter enter patient's room at the appropriate time to get another uh, point vital uh, measurement um, and so that that really liberates I think uh, the nurses in terms of having to uh, you know keep an eye on the on the various uh, timers that you know to, to kind of track when the next um, vital blood pressure measurement needs to take place. And then what the, what's remarkable about all this, we not only, it's not, the patients not only get this um, uh, enhanced experience because we're not intruding on, uh, on their uh, experience, um, the nurses are not only not needing to, um, you know, keep track of the time and, uh, and then to, you know, run into patients' rooms and, and, and do that so it frees them up. But on top of that, um, we're actually getting more clinical information than we were before. We're not getting a single time point, uh, you know, every 15 or 20 minutes. We're getting continuous, and then uh, and then we can even uh, import it into the chart very easily, and has now a function of, of creating a summary report. It's just it's it's, it's a win-win all the way around. I think caretaker has become really an integral part of of, of our setting, and you know, in in the, in, in, in ketamine treatments, um, uh, like uh, psychedelic treatments in general, uh, because ketamine uh, treatments are a form of psychedelic treatments at the doses that we give them. Um, the, um, uh, the there's a concept called set and setting. Um, a patient's mental state uh, coming into the treatments plays a big role in the experience and in the outcome. And they, the, the, the setting, uh, um, meaning you know, how conducive it is to facilitate that, also plays uh, a very important role, uh, not only in the patient experience, but then in the outcome, the therapeutic outcome. And so caretaker, uh, so, so, we, so I, you know, we spend a lot of uh, energy optimizing the setting so that patients can experience the um, uh, the ketamine induced phenomena the you know the, the, the psychedelic um, uh, altered state of uh, of mind that they experience and which is so therapeutic um, and so uh, you know we we, we spent a lot of energy optimizing that and a big part of that is to allow them to um, not be disrupted uh, during this and and caretaker solved the last big hurdle we had to doing that, um, which was finding a way to be able to obtain important uh, clinical information from patients, you know, their, 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 their vitals, without uh, undermining all the other efforts that we did. And so really with, with the, with, with the uh, introduction of the caretaker into our practice, you know, all the other efforts that we did were able to, you know, come together, and 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 all the uh, uh, and their potential was fully ma uh, manifest uh, because of that technology. So it's been, it's just it's just it's just part and parcel of uh, of our treatment. I can't imagine us going back and having to go in and take blood pressure. It was a really interesting uh, confluence of events because, you know, ketamine was a very new kind of a paradigm uh, in medicine, and um, at the time, you know, uh, um, I was I was um, uh, running the only ketamine infusion uh, program, um, in really that existed anywhere. So a lot we, we were we were creating a lot of the the, the core care qualities and, and characteristics of these things. And we had this unmet need about being able to take, um, uh, you know, reliable uh, uh, blood pressure and other vitals without without uh, disrupting the setting uh, um, paradigm that, that we spent so much effort in optimizing. And I, we didn't know what, the, what kind of solution there was to this unmet need because clearly it was a problem. Uh, patients were were displeased with the standard way of us going into the uh, 
uh, into uh, going in and disrupting them with a standard blood pressure, manual stud blood pressure. At the same time, uh, you know, Caretaker was developing this, uh, uh, Caretaker Medicine was developing the Caretaker product um, uh, for um, uh, other needs, uh, you know, medical needs, hospitals and so forth. They never imagined what a great match it was for, for this, for this new treatment that was being, uh, you know, um, was evolving and, and being developed. And when I reached out um, to Caretaker uh, and purchased the first unit, and they were asking me about the use, it, 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 you know, I could almost hear, uh, you know, the the silence on this side when I explained that, you know, we're we're we're, we're giving it uh, this drug uh, off label to create this, uh, you know, kind of. Um, psychedelic-like experience and it was something they never imagined but 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 when i explained why it seemed like such a natural uh you know uh, such a natural fit for caretaker but i think it's kind of interesting that we had this unmet need didn't know what the solution was here was the solution didn't know that there was a problem uh, out there that it, it, it matched so perfectly for and and it's i think it's, um, it's very interesting and gratifying to see how um uh, other uh, other ketamine clinics that have uh, been established since that time have uh, you know have followed suit and have uh, seen um, caretaker as almost a care almost as a um, as a required <laughs> a piece of equipment if you're starting a, a ketamine clinic uh, we never I mean it, to to Two, two groups working on different things, never realizing that they were creating a perfect, uh, uh, you know, uh, harmonious uh, um, uh, solution to, to uh, optimize a, uh, treatment.